fives, and I do it all solo. Yo, yeah. DJ Jekyll here. Let's just get into it. So let's just start pointing out some of the obvious. Hey, People up? have a problem with griefers. And I'm saying the griefers are not the problem. Damn, yeah. That's point for the D, let's figure out who is the problem, hmm? Because, see, look. ECU job, jump a freight train, and steal the prototype standalone engine control unit inside. Yeah. That is illegal. Grand Theft Auto is a crime. Grand Theft Auto um, is illegal. It's against the law. So uh, everything in this game uh, is going to be illegal. Uh, so let's, uh, let's, and that's how you make money in this game by doing criminal uh, stuff. Let me see. Ah, here we go. See, when I got the game, I got this. Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack. Criminal. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out this running theme. Criminal Enterprise Pack. Yeah. Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack. So we have on the left, MC, which is a motorcycle club, just like Sons of Anarchy. They did illegal shit with illegal drugs, illegal guns, and they illegally murdered people and got murdered. Illegal. Got your tycoon here in the middle, mafia, whatever. And then racing, illegal, I guess that's illegal racing, I don't know. You have your properties that we use as front companies. Hmm, <clears throat> this is where you launder your money, which is another illegal activity. Here we have vehicles that you get to export and import, which is Grand Theft Auto theft. Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft, Big Theft. It's also illegal. But you call it import and exporting. So that's also considered fraudulent business. Fraud is also illegal. Hmm. Weapons of mass destruction. Very, very legal. Automatic weapons. Compact weapons. Compact grenade launcher. Yeah. More illegal shit. All right. Well, tattoos, whatever. Okay. Let's go down. The data, oh, the prison break. Breaking into a prison. Breaking in. It's another word. Breaking in. Like breaking bad. Breaking in. That's also bad. All right. Moving right along. The data contract. Locate Merriweather. Private security company. CEO's base of operations and steal his secret files. You are going to steal. Also a crime. All right. Let's get that. The bank contract. Hit the Felicia Bank across Los Santos, Blame County, and grab all the cash. Yes, that is too illegal. Here we go, let's go over here. Exotic export list. Again, this. Can you see my finger? I gotta get my finger to do, say what the fuck. There we go. This is also illegal. Because you are not buying these. You are stealing these vehicles. And selling them fraudulently, illegally. And then you pump that money through this business and get illegal shit. So I'm going to spend my dollar here. Put it in the machine. Get a soda. And now that dollar that it's, is in there is now laundered free. That is legit money. That dollar is now considered legit. I just took the illegal money, laundered it right in front of you. Did you see how fast that was? That's exactly how we do it. Then we come over here and we fix people's cars. Yeah, take more money. See? But the money that they pay us with is with our own money that we stole. Again, money laundering. <clears throat> See? This vehicle is totally fucking illegal. It's got... Weapons on it. Rockets. Machine guns. 50 cal. That's illegal. Okay? So, <clears throat> more money goes into here. Oh, I gotta be a CEO. Okay. Oh yeah, like I said, public lobby. I can always do that. Got a video on it, but no one seems to 
want their own private lobby. See, if you had your own, you know, and it's public, no griefers. But nobody wants that. They all complain, but they don't want it. So, let's check out where we get our money. See, look at this. Does it tell me? No, let's see. Let me here. Uh, where has money been? Yeah, it's been a while. All right, let's click on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember all. I don't know. American Imports, what is that? That's uh, at the vehicles. See, this one's pot. This one's the counterfeit. Oh, no. So this is, yeah. Printing and copying. Oh, this is document. This is counterfeit documents. These ones are pharmaceutical drugs that we're, you know, selling, buying, and selling, and stealing. All this is illegal. Basically, what I'm going to get at is all illegal. Everything. All of it. <laughs> These people are all doing illegal shit. Getting this stuff for me. Because that's why you have security. So that you don't get raided. See, this is enemy. But they mean raided by the police. And I think we're, we're going to get to that. <clears throat> I think the police are a lot like griefers. Or griefers are a lot like the police in this. And then, of course, griefers are also criminals. Let's see what else. Yeah, before we get to that depressor, we'll get to this. See, because this is... And it's even called a vigilante. Same. Got machine guns. Got armored plate. That was the other complaint, too. The people don't like futuristic vehicles. How do you not love this vigilante? Really? And bear in mind you, if you want to get rid of futuristic vehicles, then this would go bye-bye. And any vehicle that has guns on it. Because no vehicle out there has guns on it like this. They're all turrets and uh, <clears throat> man, player, whatever, controlled. You know, not automatic like this. And, of course, the missile. Oh, God, there we go. Oh, yeah, we have... Only missiles off, so we can just, you know, shoot. And then, of course, homing missiles. That is so illegal to get. But again, no vehicle is going to have this. So, therefore, all those weaponized vehicles will go bye-bye. So, how will you do your grinding at that point, hmm? Let's go over to here. See, this is my arcade. Another money laundering place, because who makes money off an arcade? Nobody. Makes you think about the real world, because who the hell goes to arcade? But they still have them. See so here, we have our cars that were stolen, and we're going to be doing a heist with them. See? Actually, I don't use these cars in the heist, so I didn't care which ones I got, but I do like the way they look. You have your criminal here who likes to kill people. Um, where's my other guy? It should be. I don't know why he didn't load. You have another guy like right here. Oh, well, anyways. You have your hacker. Yep, I didn't use Paige. Paige drove me nuts. But you have your hacker who does illegal shit. Ah, oh, here we go. Also, we have drones. Yes, these drones can shock you and kill people or blow up. No. There's another weaponized vehicle. See, this one also has guns on it. This is a futuristic vehicle, then. Because these kind of weapons don't exist on vehicles like that. And then, of course, you got cool vehicles like that. But, you know, since you're doing stuff illegally... Oh, this one's all futuristic, you know? It's got laser cannons. Okay, we don't have that. There's the dreaded oppressor. Look at that. See how dangerous it is? It's just like those people on the, on the left that want to get rid of your guns. Oh, it's the gun doing the crime. It's the gun doing the violence. No, it's the person. Just like in this. It's not the oppressor. It's not the bad guy. It's whatever the person doing it, you know? But then again, you are a criminal when you play this game. Let's go to the main one here. This would be a lot easier. I was going to go to these places each by one. Like I forgot. I have a command center. So, got the nightclub, like we mentioned here, see? 
We also have the Gun Runners, and this is the big one, Gun Runners. Now you can go get supplies manually yourself, and you are stealing these supplies. You are stealing black or dark web illegal black ops weapons from criminals and other terrorists. Or you hit resupply and pay for it. Yeah. Uh, how much is that worth, really? Okay. You also research. Let's see what we can research. All this is illegal. See, look, this is illegal to have. Illegal, illegal, all this stuff is illegal to have. See a vehicle like that? That is all illegal. But you guys are okay with that. See, there's your missiles. See, all this more illegal. See, look at that. Incineration round, hollow points. All this stuff is illegal. Look at that. All this. This is all illegal that you're stealing. See, landmines? Are you freaking kidding me? Proximity mines, landmines, same thing. All that. So, as I was saying, the bunker is where you get your dirty bombs and your all kinds of... And you make them. You take the weapons, you take the supplies, you take the ingredients and the equipment, and you make uh, illegal weapons out of it. And then you sell them. And then, of course, here, you have your cocaine. And you have people making that. Again, oh, you have to be an MC. More illegal shit. Let's do the meth. You're paying people, just like Breaking Bad. Illegal. Pot, illegal. Counterfeit cash. Document forgery. Export, like I was telling you about. Special cargo, liquor, antiques. And you're still in this for museums, rich people, blah, blah, blah. So this is how it works in the criminal empire. Okay. This is how that works. When you steal from people... You know, you steal from the bad guys. I don't think I need any of that. Um, maybe these bad guys are going to find out about it and they would steal. I'm like, think about this like legitimately. You know, if you were a real criminal and you were doing illegal shit, that there are other criminals making their empire. You know, like the mafia and gangs, you know, tycoons, all kinds of shit. And they're going to sit here in their pretty little office. Doing that. Let me just sit for a while so you guys can. There we go. Yeah. And they're going to be doing their illegal shit. And I keep repeating myself because I'm trying to drive this. I really am trying to drive this home. Oh, wait. I got to stand up for a sec. <clears throat> Seat is not comfortable. Hold on. There we go. All right, I'll sit back down now. There we go. So, as you can see, I'm covering my face because I don't want, you know, people know my business because, you know, committing crime. There is a reason for my madness. I'm trying to let it... It's a lot of information, and I really want this to, um, you know, sink in. But if you're doing this illegally, you know, you steal someone's car... Uh, you steal money from a bank, you know, chances are law enforcement's getting involved. And that's your griefers. They're trying to stop you from yourself. That would be considered griefing because you're trying to make money and they are, in fact, stopping you. Same thing with the griefers. When you go do something illegal, like try to sell your cargo at the bunker, your weapons, that's illegal shit. They're going to try and stop you. When you're doing the Cayo Prico heist and you're taking the stuff that you need to steal from Rubio, even though he is a criminal, and we get that, you are still committing a crime by stealing. And you saw how Rubio will come after you. Same thing. Bad guys will come after you. That's the griefers. They're like the police. You're doing bad things and you're going to get caught and they're going to try and stop you. It's as simple as that. It's not the oppressor that is bad. It's not the Kanjali that's bad or the Akula. It's you. No offense. You know, I'm not trying to hurt anybody's uh, feelings, but if you're a criminal, you need to have thicker skin. The, the purpose of this game is to be a 
super duper great, awesome, fantastic, really good criminal. You're trying to be the best criminal. That means that you are going to be able to do shit illegally better than anybody else. <clears throat> and that is part of it. I mean, that is absolutely part of it. So I would love to hear your guys' thoughts about that. Why you think the suppressor is so bad and now it's the oppressor oppressing you or something when you're the one trying to do illegal shit. Like, why are you playing this game in the first place? You know, you want to make money, but you do realize you're making money illegally. <clears throat> I think I repeated myself in the time. I mean, check this thing out. Mobile use, they have like weapons on it that are totally legal. The Avenger, that's an Air Force vehicle. Totally legal for civilians to have. A hacking freaking vehicle. Also highly illegal. I mean, think about it. If you were to sell drugs on another gang's corner, they're going to come after you, right? And Grand Theft is based on real world rules. So what makes you think that they're not going to use those real world rules? In the real world, you do illegal shit in illegal gang territory, they're going to come after you. You do things in anybody's backyard, they're going to come after you, criminal or not. So, when you're doing stuff in here, you know, let's uh, point that out. See? Diamond shop. Steal. Steal. Steal diamonds from Vangelico's jewelry store. Yeah. And we're going to go and... Someone's going to buy it hot and give us illegal money, okay. but it's laundered. Now, I am not going to drive this fucking thing price. out there. I, think we can help. So I will take the oppressor. Why? Because it makes grinding So easier. now I'm headed to go steal. And if there was griefers in the area, Rockstar put it in the rules that you have a chance to steal from a thief. I mean, that's what we're doing. We have bank robbery going on right now to 11. We have some thieves, and they're trying to make their money, and I'm going to go stop them. But your guys' rule is it's okay because you're able to stop them. But see, if someone tries to stop you, oh, then they're griefing. So right now, I'm going to go grief these uh, these bank robbers. Oh, that's the other one. That's the diamond. This one's totally just a legit. Oh, well. Well, we'll do that one in a sec, too. You still get what I'm trying to say. Oh yeah, I forgot to change my weapons. Fuck it. See, I'm stealing the diamonds from an armored vehicle. You know they're gonna have guns. But I'm griefing them, and you guys are okay with doing these missions. Like, well, I'm making money. Yeah, but look, you, I just like killed a few people. They're just trying to make a living. They're trying to make some money. They're trying to have fun with the game. I just stopped them. What's the difference? Well, they're NPCs. Yeah, so that's what we are. This is a digital representation. This isn't me. I don't do this in the real life. This is totally digital. This is a non-player right now. Even though I'm controlling, it's still, it's, it's just a digital representation, just like the NPCs are. They're digital representations of the storyline. Fiction. Oh, where am I going? <clears throat> I mean, look, here, see? I do this anyways, but see, look, I'm going to call Lester a hacker who's going to do something illegal to get the cops off of me. But everybody's okay with that. I'm guessing you don't want but see, I'm ride. trying to make some money. And Lester is going to no help problem. me break I'll the law. Your back. So 
So I could really, you know, I'm really looking forward to what those out there have to say that are uh, struggling with this game because they're being sucky criminals. They're not doing it well. Look, I just got the money. I stole it. Voila. Okay, so he's going to do a mission. And it's piracy prevention. Assault their yacht. So that's a rule that Rockstar came in. So they want players to go and attack this player doing this mission. And the winner gets to keep the money. So I don't see why this is a problem. It's not griefing. It's part of the part of the game, part of the rules. This is a competition on who can be a better criminal. So if I come over here with the oppressor, and I'm sorry to do this, you know, to a friend, but you know, if I do this, so if I come over here and he doesn't have weapons and locks onto me and shoots me, he just wants to use that, which I see a lot of people here, we'll just get close. I see a lot of people using these helicopters. See, and that's just a bad idea. Why? Because, well, here's what happens. See? And then when people want to do this, they don't use their oppressor, they use these. And these get shot down every time. See, because there's no weapons on that. This is, see, this is what bad criminals use. Same thing with this. So if I'm doing the yacht, did I go too close? Oh. Oh. Mm, excuse me. If I'm doing the yacht, you know, let's say I'm over here and I'm got to protect the yacht, and someone comes on their boat or helicopter, or whatever, I'm gonna go after them because I want to protect it. I want to prove I'm a better criminal than them. So when they're coming after me, they're not trying to grieve. They're trying to compete to see who the better criminal is. And that's the point I'm trying to, you know, it's like going to a shooting range. And there's marksmanship contest to see who's a better shooter. You know, football, it's to see who the better player is. It's not, you know, well, well we're trying to make our millions of dollars and make our money so we can feed our family. Uh, no, you're trying to prove how good you are. That's a competition. So the other team is competing because they have the same goals as you. They want to prove that they're the better team. That's why they go for the Super Bowl. And that's why they make a ton of money because people pay, you know, to watch that. Same thing on here. You're trying to prove you're the best and you're better than the guy you're going against. And when you do that, you get money. But since it's all illegal, this is make believe. Because you can't do this in real life, you get to do it in the game, which is part of the game but no one's getting mad at the game. Just like when your basketball team loses, which I'm sure they lose a lot, uh, you don't blame basketball. Why not? It's the ball that failed you. Right, because like when you fail in this game, you don't blame yourself, you blame the oppressor. Which in this case, the oppressor would be the basketball. But the basketball is just a tool. Just like the oppressor, it's just a tool. It just it just sits there. Look, it doesn't it doesn't do nothing. You know, I can I can do stuff to it. See, and it doesn't do anything back to me. I mean, explosive rounds? That's fucking illegal. Look, see, they say get rid of futuristic vehicles. Look, this is futuristic. You'd have to get rid of this. This is vandalism right here. This is criminal vandalism right here. And I'm also discharging a firearm within the city limits. Another crime. But no one's got a problem with that. This, you know what this is? Yeah, that's right. This is Grand Theft Auto. See? You know what, actually? Where am I? Yeah. As I'm coming here, see, I'm hot. Why? I don't have the keys. Why? Because I don't own this vehicle. See, if you did this in real life, you'd be having cops after you. Or not. You know, they don't always catch it, but you'd have cops. Or in this game, you are stealing in someone else's territory. This is their area. 
for stealing. They're trying to make money for their family. Illegally, but so are you. So if they see you doing this and you're in the vehicle, they're gonna stop you. And if they've been doing this a long time and you're new at this, well then they're probably gonna have that precious little uh, oppressor and they're gonna blow you I was gonna almost say out of the water but they're gonna pull you out of the ground I guess would be the actual way to say it so I'm gonna go here to a chop shop which is illegal and this guy is gonna take the VIN number put other plates on it do a lost uh, title for, for a touch. different VIN from a vehicle that they probably took to the junkyard and smashed, but kept the VIN number. Didn't report that it was smashed. Now I can sell it. See? So if a griefer kills you, well, you're doing something illegal. So either they're being a vigilante like Batman, stopping the criminal and protecting the public. Or it's another criminal that you're on their turf. It's a gang war. It's a turf war. That's all this is about over and over. It's just one big turf word after another turf turf war. And then too, you want to get rid of futuristic weapons. Well, and you want to make things more real. Then why don't they go? Why don't you guys go back to the old way of playing Grand Theft, where? You had to go to the store every time to pick up armor or go behind your house. You know, like CJ had to do, go behind the house and get the armor every time. If you want to keep it realistic, well then let's do that. You know? Let's make it where all the bullets you hold, you can only hold what you could actually hold by weight. You know, let's put some weight like they do in Fallout, you know, where they put, put it on realistic mode. Let's do that then. And that's, you know, this whole thing, like, you're playing a game to do things illegally you can't do in real life. So this is make-believe. So since you're already in make-believe, why not have make-believe vehicles? I mean, think about it. Who's going to have, who's going to be able to do this? Watch. I'm going to go do this. Because you're like, let's not get, you know, have futuristic vehicles because that's unreal. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is totally going to be unreal too. Because, one, you can't do this. We're not in Star Trek. Two... This is illegal as hell to own. So there's no way that I want to be able to make a vehicle like this just disappear. That's fut that's futuristic. We don't have that technology. Then of course we won't be able to do this. So this is like the Jetsons. I just changed my outfit, just like the Jetsons do, super fast. See? Who the hell is going to have a Harrier? Just like that. Especially at a horse track. Are you kidding me? Coming out of the gate one, and we have a coming out of the gate one. You know what? Right. Yeah, come on. Explosive rounds. Look at that. That's futuristic, because we're not going to have that, and that's also illegal. I say futuristic because, like, it just appeared. It just teleported from wherever it was. See, so that's all make-believe. Well, you're not going to be able to do this in real life. In fact, I don't even think real pilots, you know, they in the 80s they had more leeway. But you can't do this kind of shit in real life. Because it's illegal, unsafe. Um, yeah. But in the game, oh, can I make this turn? Oh my god. Sweet. Yeah. So, and again, no griefers. I'm in a public. Oh, this is piracy. Alright, two seconds. Oh, come on, I'm waiting for that thing to show up. Oh, and the orbit blast. Just to get rid of stuff, you know. I guess you have to get rid of the orbit. Pretty guys don't like that because it's so expensive. Well, it's illegal money that you got, you know. All right. Oh, come on. Why is that not over yet? Okay. 
there we go. See, it says public. Notice, notice how it says public, public. And I don't have anybody else in here. So I got nobody griefing, nobody trying to grief. So if you don't want to deal with griefers, then don't go into a lobby that has griefers. I mean, at what point in life do we just take responsibility for our actions? Even in a video game. Have we gotten that lazy in a video game? I mean, when Donkey Kong used to throw barrels at people, nobody complained. Oh, he's griefing. He's stopping me from climbing the stairs. I want to go to the top of the stairs and see the princess. And if I don't do it here, she'll be in some castle and some weird fucking looking turtle is going to, you know, do something. Until years later where you're going to have mutant ninja turtles and they're going to take care of it. But they don't fight turtles. They fight a uh, shredder. Anyway, it's a little uh, offbeat there. But um, yeah, is it starting to make sense that it's not the griefers that uh, you're mad at? Is it, are we, is it starting that that perhaps it's you may not be good at, you know, being a criminal? I mean, there's, a, you know, there's games I'm not good at. Oh, I'm trying to think of... Well, the last Gears I played, I wasn't good at that one. I didn't like that. I wasn't good at that one. I didn't like it. You know? But nobody complained about the Griefers and that because that was the game. You're going against other people to kill. You know, Call of Duty, same thing. Nobody complains about Griefers and that because... That's the point of the game, to go out and kill. Well, that's the point of this game. This game is to be the baddest criminal, and criminals kill. So I hope that, you know, helps out. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts and comments. Uh, yeah, let's have a little free-for-all here. Let's see what, uh, what you guys have to think about it, because I'm sure there'll be more videos about this one. Yeah, oh, shit, I don't want to crash. And this is how you land if you don't know how to land. This is an easy way to land. See how easy? So if you guys liked it, let me know. Hit that like button. If you want more videos or you want to continue this uh, discussion, if you have issues with the presser, tell me about it and subscribe to my channel. This way we could talk about it more. See, prison break, illegal, prison break. Oh, it's all prison stuff. See, that's all illegal shit. I mean, come on, man. If, they, if the cops came to someone's apartment and had all this shit, they'd be fucking getting arrested. Because you're plotting to commit a crime. That is illegal. And then look, man, I got this stupid green drink here. How is that not illegal? This is no, uh-uh. Mm-mm. Um, ugh. Ugh. Oh, God, that's just gross. Gross, gross, gross. Oh, my God. All right, well. Um, yep. Uh, I did my job for the day, so I'm going to go chill out and uh, do more illegal shit. Oh, yeah, no, they legalized it in a lot of places, yeah. Right, but it's, it's still federally... <coughs> still federally... <coughs> Oh, illegal. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to sit here and um, think about potatoes playing jumping jacks. All right. See you guys on the next one.